All right, where the bonito bite is hot. Hot bonito bite right here on the Jamaica. Dropping down into this chum slick. Reeling it up and just getting them. Oh. What's he saying? Kill the bonita and make it eat or something? Oh, bleed it. Just rip the gill when you catch one. Got to find some of those big ones, man. A nice, nice school came through. Look, you can see the max feeding. The green Benito. All right, guys. So this was a party boat trip I went on on the Big Jamaica, which is out of Brielle, New Jersey, in Manasquan Inlet, and uh, we were going out for these Benito. And the boat was huh? drifting and chumming, and from the second we started fishing, uh, the bonito came to the surface eating the chum, and it was just pretty much no. ridiculous, like dropping real action oh, all dude. morning yeah. uh, on just bonito. Uh, there's other species of fish that they'll usually get on these trips, such as bluefish, chub mackerel. Mm -hmm. They get the occasional Spanish mackerel, oh, mahi mahi, false albacore, but. Um, this is the best bonito fishing that they've He's seen the in the years, man. at least for August. Uh, in September, they might do a little better, but as far as August goes, this is some of the best bonito fishing New Jersey's ever seen. And it might be due to the fact that there are just a ton of sand eels out there this year. Uh, all these fish were spitting up sand eels. Um, we were getting them every drop, every drop. I was keeping all of them because these fish are delicious. This is a sushi grade fish, very similar to tuna, you know, bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna. You can see them coughing up them mm. sand eels. Everyone on the boat was catching them. There was nothing to it. You drop into the water, pull them out of the water. Uh, you know, that's the chum going into the water right there. As you can see, I'm just jigging. Oh I'm God. using a 7 8 ounce hoagie epoxy jig. And uh, yeah, it was yeah, just pretty much ridiculous. Damn. Pandemonium Benito. You ever seen fish like this? No. No, I have not. Not since yesterday, at least. Today's better than yesterday, though. Benito wise. Yeah. Yesterday we had to pick through the max. So instant. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Damn, one just hit my fucking knot on my leader. Hollywood rod. It's like a solid one. Good one. Nice bonito! Yeah! That's what we're talking about. Hells yeah, man. Hells yeah. It's good. Huh? No, no. Right on the surface. Man, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Like, I don't know what you're expecting. Here. Cooking with fire over here. <laughs> you okay, man? Yeah. Feel better? That's nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. That last one you got was good. Yeah, no, they're a good size today. So a lot of the fish we were getting were pretty small. Uh, that doesn't take away from the fact they're still delicious. But at times there was nicer ones coming through. And whenever a nice school would come in, everybody would catch some nicer ones. And uh, yeah, there's the epoxy jig I was using. I was using 10 pound braid, 25 pound fluoro leader, seven foot rod, light action, light action stuff, uh, just to keep it fun, just to keep it interesting. 
And a lot of the fish you're seeing on the surface uh, here and longer in the video are going to be chub mackerel. But um, yeah, like those are chub mackerel up top. The bonito would hang out a little deeper and then come shooting up to eat the jig, uh, you know, whenever you would drop it in. And to prepare these fish to be eaten, you definitely want to rip the gills on them and bleed them right away. Uh, that'll make sure that the meat is nice and clean and delicious when you go to eat them. Jesus. Most people wouldn't understand, Tan. Most people wouldn't understand that this is like pandemonium. The bonitos. Dude, look at them all, dude. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? They're, they're jumping out of the water chasing my uni the uni. Epic. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Just drop it right on the surface. Mm. You got him hogtied. Yeah, they are. Bonito. Yeah. This is craziness, man. Oh, tan buoy. Would the bigger ones be close down or? They're just kind of sporadic. Like it's just it's just luck of the draw. They'll be up top. Damn man, this was it was not like this yesterday. They're like jumping out of the water for it. 
Yeah, there's a lot more mackerel. Out, yeah. Three on oh two yeah, hooks. three. Hooks yeah. Oh, on two hooks? Oh my god. Very nice cast there, Tan. That was that was a good cast. Yeah, this is the best. Yeah. Yeah. See? It just ate the moss? Yeah. They bet all day yesterday. All day. Start to finish. It's pretty sick. They're eating my leader, which I do not understand. That was like instantaneous. As soon as we started fishing, it was like they were they were on there. No, dude. I mean, it would slow down. The chub max were always biting, but the bones were coming through. Pretty. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that was what it's all about right there. Ah! There's nice ones out there, dude. Cast out there. Uh, they were nicer. I saw them blowing up a little bit, so I casted at them, and sure enough. Woo! That was a little nicer. Looks like they're in the slick now. Dumb chub mac. <laughs> but all these are chubs, huh? That's oh, yours? There we go, a nicer one. That's the ones that was just blowing up on it. like a legit size bone. Don't drop it to the bottom. Drop it like 30 feet. Unnecessary. This one just hit on the surface. Bottom. Micro, I guess that's all the size. Oh, 
Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. You know how to do this? I never gaffed a fish before. That's all right. It's a good, a good bone. Seriously? I know, I know. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Oh no, it's eh, it's nice. It's above average, yeah. Oh yeah, there's nicer ones coming through. Nice bones in the house. Oh. Nice bones. It's a sleigh fest. Blood bath. It's a blood bath. Don't put him away yet, Chris. No. Uh. All right. There's the frickin' epoxy jig after the massacre. Oh, it's a massacre.